What's up guys, it's Mr. Betts here and I wanted to give you a behind the scenes peek of me filming the first video of the fall semester, the Native American song done to Childish Gambino's This Is America. This one I'm gonna be filming in my living room, in my apartment. And as you can see, it's in quite a state right now. This section here is where I'm gonna be doing the actual like moving and where I'll actually be. And this section here is where the green screen is gonna be. So there's a lot of work to get done even before I can start getting the cameras rolling. But I've already planned out exactly what I'm gonna need to shoot and with the help of my bootstrap board, I have my entire shot list over here plus important props that I need. And you can also see down here, I have a section permanently dedicated to the next five videos I have in the pipe. In case you can't tell. In case you were ever wondering about the gear I use, this is what I'm going to use for this particular shoot. My main camera here is going to be the Canon T6i. I recently upgraded after years of using the T3i to the T6i. Main reason being it's got a nice um, autofocus. Now, when I do the actual lip syncing, I'm not going to worry about miking. I'm actually going to use the onboard mic for the T6i, but DSLRs. If there's one thing about them, they never have good mics. So when I do the outro, when I actually want to speak, I'm going to hook up the Sarmonic lavalier mics. And with them, I can have the sound going directly into the camera so I don't have to link it together later on in editing. These lights over here, I'm going to use to help accent or, or maybe to even out the green screen. They're pretty affordable, they're pretty cheap. And if you're just starting out, these lights are going to be great for you. They're small, they're compact. If you wind up traveling a lot, there's a shoe in the package so that you can put it right on top of your camera. And if you're going to be filming in a relatively small space, this is probably all that you're going to need to light it. I'm going to put Amazon affiliate links for all the gear that I'm using down in the description. And since we're talking about gear, uh, the song itself, the vocals on the song, I recorded just using my Blue Yeti mic, Soundguard up here, a pop filter that I use over here. For some songs I have access to the sound booth at my school, but for this one I just emptied out my closet. Um, I keep my printer in here when I'm not actually using it. I emptied out the surface, hung the lyrics up here, and just did vocals inside of my closet. It's a really low budget setup. Main takeaway here is you don't need the best resources to make good videos. You just need to think outside the box sometimes. So now comes the most time consuming and labor intensive part of shooting the setup. Because the setup and the breakdown takes about half an hour each. I have to set up the green screen, I have to set up the box lights, um, then I have to tweak everything to make sure that everything has even lighting. It's really overcast outside and I have these giant windows over here. Usually I put the blinds down because I get uneven lighting, but this time I'm going to see how it works because some nice natural lighting would be really, really good. Um, so let's see, but let's bring this all together. This is just like a muslin green screen. It's a cloth. Uh, they sell a ton of them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below to what seems like a good one because I don't know if they sell this exact one. I've had it for a bunch of years. But a really good accessory for them are these clips. Basically, you're going to wrap these around the pole. You're going to clip it to the actual screen here and then you're going to adjust the tightness. Tightness is everything when it comes to green screen because uh, you see like shadows like this here, they're going to become a real pain to try to key out. So you want to get it as flat and the color as uniform as possible. These guys are really cheap and they help you out. So the green screen is up and you know what, I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty even. The overcast is really helping us out. Um, but more importantly, let's see how it looks on the actual camera that we're going to be using. That is a pretty flat green screen right there. I can easily work with that keying out all of this in Adobe Premiere, by the way, that's the software that I use. All right, so all I'm going to do now is put some shoes on my feet because I'm wearing shoes for this video. We have a lot 
of shots. I don't know if I'll do all of them. If I feel really happy with fars and mids and close-ups, maybe I'll only do two instead of threes on there. And the teacher and the student ones, they don't actually go very long. They're more like insert shots, but those are things that I gotta get done. Whoa, I almost forgot that I always forgot. So I threw my contacts in and in large, like 30 point font, um, I printed out all the lyrics that I'm gonna be shooting. I have the main angle all shot now. I actually forgot to check off all the stuff, but let me make sure that I got everything I need. Let's see, I got three fours. I got three mids. I got three close-ups. I got three dances. I think I did so well with the teacher on the teacher parts. I don't actually need them, but these are the two I need here. So I did a little costume change. This is my reasonable facsimile of Something that possibly a student would wear. Over here, I'm gonna be the male student. Then over here, I'm gonna be the female student. What I'm more concerned about is that when you get down to this angle, which is the angle that the camera's gonna be shooting at, a lot of times you're gonna get a bit of a green glare. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of work in post making sure that I can key out the green from the green screen without making the table come out all weird. Okay, I think it actually came out pretty well, and who doesn't love it when Mr. Betts' class pulls out a little bit of drag? Gotta get that done on the first video of the semester. So this is kind of what it looks like when I'm recording one of my parody songs. I've already made a video about how I write parody songs. I'll link it around here somewhere. If you wanna see the other steps, like the editing or distributing or stuff like that, let me know down in the comments. So if you like any of that gear, you wanna pick any of it up for yourself or you need anything from Amazon, just use one of those links down there because it costs you nothing extra, but it helps support the channel. So. You know, it'd be a really nice thing to do. Remember that the new semester starts on August 23rd. I hope to see you there. If you are someone who has watched Mr. Betts' class in an earlier course, you're no longer taking American history, make sure you tell those students in the classes that you were in, that like the ones that they're taking it now, the class that you were in, make sure that you tell them to subscribe to Mr. Betts. Be safe. I'll see you next time.